Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for your support. Please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. Just drop the name or the link down below and we'll be more than glad to react to whatever you suggest. So today I'm going to be reacting to Shep de Dat. Shep de Dat denied entry into France. Books banned. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of Allah the most gracious the most merciful The reason why I'm a week earlier is that there was a program arranged for me to visit France and I landed in Paris this last Wednesday, no, last Friday, I landed in Paris. And the immigration department in Paris, seeing my valid visa, they stamped my passport, Charles de Gaulle Airport. But after stamping the passport, the man is looking at my face, whether I'm the same person in the passport. And he sees this hat of mine, and they see my beard. And immediately, bells began to ring in his head, that I look like a terrorist. You know, maybe I've got grenades and guns, with which I want to invade France. So he tapped, he typed my name on the computer and the computer gave a red light to say this man is dangerous. What makes me dangerous? Man of 75, mm -hmm. towards the end of his life and I'm a dangerous person for France. The reason why they had me in the danger list is a menace they tell me, they gave me a form to tell me that I'm a menace, a danger to France, is because of my books. I had translated these books of mine, like this one here, in English, what the Bible says about Muhammad. Same thing we wrote in French, we translated it. It says, la Bible did the Muhammad, whatever it means in French, it means the same, what the Bible says about Muhammad. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, the natural successor to Christ, same thing translated into French, Muhammad the natural successor to Christ. Al-Quran, the miracle of miracles, same thing translated into French, and all my books translated into French. What do we do with French books? So we send it to France. People had given us addresses of certain Muslims in France. So all the addresses we had, everybody, we send them a package from South Africa. French, French. And when this literature arrived there in France, there's so many passes for Muslim, 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 because they're all Muslim names. So meant there's something dangerous, something going on. Maybe the Muslims are planning an overthrow of the French government. So, they said, no, we can't allow this book, let's read them. So they read these books and they said, no, this is a dangerous book for Christianity. This is going to change people. So this book was banned. All the books of mine are banned. With me also goes my name. Ahmad Didat is also banned. He's a dangerous man. So a nuclear power, a nation which has got the atom bomb, got terrified with these books. They give the freedom to Salman Rushdie. His satanic verses are translated into French. That is jais, halal. But Ahmad did that book, Saharam. So, somehow we managed it to go back to London, to the Saudi embassy. We got the visas to come to... And today is a national day. And in celebration of that national day, 
We had advertised in the Arab newspapers that we were giving our literature free. And I don't know, I think you were not here when we were giving the books free on the second floor. We gave them hundreds, hundreds of them we gave out to the people free. So my mission is to inform the Muslims about the Christian trying to get into us. He is trying to preach Christianity to us. Very hard, very hard. If he gave you this Bible, translated in Arabic, Kitabul Muqaddas, the Holy Bible, Kitabul Muqaddas. If he wants to present this to you in this form, you say, no, I'm not interested. You are not likely to take it. I have the Quran. Alhamdulillah, I don't want the Bible. So they find other ways and means of getting through to you. What are the ways? They give you in this form here. Look at this. What does it say? It says desert storm. Desert storm. With the stamp of the American Army, Navy, Air Force. Stamps. See the stamps? Back, Army, Navy, Air Force. The camouflage uni uniform of the American soldier. And this is given bakshish to people. Hadia, hadia, hadia. They gave out over a quarter million in, in Kuwait, in Bahrain, in Abu Dhabi, Dubai. And everybody is happy to receive it free about Desert Storm. You think it's the history of what happened in the, the Gulf about Saddam Hussein, his invasion of Kuwait, about the American soldier, half a million getting into the middle of the desert between Saudi Arabia and Iraq in the middle, half a million, without losing a single soldier by gunfire. They didn't lose a single soldier by gunfire. Then how they managed to get Saddam out of Kuwait and how they counteracted the Scud missile of Saddam with the anti-Patriot missile. Won't you like to read about all that free of charge? So you take it. So shukran, jazakallah. You take it home. And you open the book, it's the Bible, Kitabul Muqaddas. So they caught you. See, this is the method that they're using to get through to us. Anyhow, somehow making you to read this Bible. So I am here to explain to people how to defend yourself against these Christian missionaries. Look at these beautiful, we call them in Urdu, Tughras, you know, frames. Beautiful. Calligraphy. Looks like the Quran. Looks like the Quran, yes. yes. And if you give this to the Sudanese and the Bangladeshi and the Pakistani and the Nigerian and the Ghanaian and the Falahins of Egypt, free. It's a bakshish. Free bakshish. What if you say, thank you very much. Shukran, shukran, shukran. And he will put it in his house. Did you know that this is a Bible? This is a Christian Bible. But they put it in such a form that to us it looks like Quran. This calligraphy is Quranic. It is the only Muslim art. This art is Muslim. This art of writing like this calligraphy is Muslim. So the Muslim sees this as man. Say, Abbana, you think it's Rabbana, Atina, Fid Dunya, Hasanatam, Wa Fil Akhirati Hasanatam, Wa Kina Azaban Nar. That's what you think. But no, 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 no. This has got nothing to do with Rab Rabbana Atina. This is Abbana in English. Say, so, oh, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will. This is all written in Arabic. Beautifully done. Catching Muslims to kiss this and take it home and put it on the wall. This is how hard they are working. And the Muslim is relaxed. He's okay. He's going to go to Jannah, inshallah. He's got nothing to worry about. But the Christian is stealing our children in Pakistan, in Bangladesh, in Indonesia, in Africa, everywhere the Christian missionary is working. So Allah is telling us, warning us in the Quran, He says, Walan tarda, ankal yahudo, walan nasara, hatta tattabya millatahum. That the Jews and the Christians will never, never be satisfied with you, O Muslims, unless you follow their brand of religion. Unless you become a Christian or a Jew, the Jew and the Christian will never be satisfied with you. So either you, if you want peace, 
there's no peace for you, Muslims. No peace. Unless you become a Christian or you change him to become a Muslim. It's one of the two. Either you become a Christian or you make him into a Muslim. And Allah tells us that he's given us a deen. A deen that is the master overcome and supersede them all. Bulldoze them all. Whether it be Hinduism, Buddhism, Judaism, Christianism, Communism, every ism, Islam is destined to master them all. Allah says, no man how the mushrik might not like it. This is the destiny of his deen. And he repeats the same formula. Another place in the Quran, in Surah Fatah. He says, Huda. He it is who has sent his messenger with guidance, الحق, and with the religion of truth, كله, that it may prevail, overcome, and supersede every other deen, every other way of life. وَكَفَى بِاللَّهِ شَهِدًا And enough is Allah is a witness to this fact that He's going to make His deen to prevail with you or without you. It's a privilege Allah has given you and me, all Muslims, that you can do a prophet's job and earn a prophet's reward, reward if you will take it. It's an opportunity Allah has given us. وَآخُرْ دَعْوَنَا عَنِ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ um, it's very sad that you're going to deny one religion but allow uh, another. If you can deny Islam, then you should be able to um, deny um, the Satanism practice as well, you know. But then governments are very, very funny. Today you can have all the papers, everything right. But they pick you out of everyone and they say, no, you stay back, you can't go further than this. But then let someone know before they waste their time buying that ticket. Some of these tickets are not refundable. You know, at least let them know from the airport they're coming from that, no, they're not allowed to go where they, they want to go. And then you find someone maybe with one or two things missing without all the necessary paperwork. They go that trip is just uh, smooth, which is very, very unfair because what categories are you putting this person that you're denying, you know? It's a, it's a crazy world. That's why no matter what, you just go with the flow because there's nothing you can do, especially if it's the government that has blacklisted you. There's nothing you can do. There's really, really nothing you can do. If they don't want you, then they don't want you. Otherwise, it's good that he went somewhere else while he was still able to have the talks. As long as he got to speak to someone, enlighten someone, teach someone, then that's that's okay. And another thing he spoke about was uh, Christians trying to convert Muslims. If But then this is my issue with his statement. How is it that... For example, I have a Muslim friend practicing Islam and here I am practicing Christianity. If I try to give them a Bible and they say no, how is it, how do you expect, how does that friend of mine expect me to get the Quran and say, sure, thank you, I'll go through it. I think the most polite thing to do would be to accept, especially if it's a friend, accept. Because maybe I want to learn one or two things. I want us to learn. I want to hear your thoughts about the Bible. I want to hear. I want you to hear my thoughts about the Quran. We can exchange and read. But maybe there, there's something deeper he was speaking about here that I'm missing. Because many times I've listened to Ami did that. I don't think he denies people from reading the Bible. If anything, he encourages people to read other books to of other religions so that they know you know and just not be stuck with getting information from one book which is that's what i'm saying maybe i'm missing something here but then if you're going to trick someone into getting something and you've crafted this message to seem like one thing but it means something else then that's wrong at least you can tell your friend uh here's this and it means this 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 that and they thought it would be good for you it's up to them if they want to deny in your face or just put it aside when they get home that's really really up to them otherwise let me know what you guys think about this video and the friends situation 
uh if there's anything you want me to react to let me know down below make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it to the friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video